here's the ultimate guide for this haircut. I'm gonna show you step by step where to start the haircut, how to blend the haircut, and I'm gonna show you how to do some clipper over comb, and some sheer work, and some razor work, not just on the face, the beard, but the eyebrows too. I'm gonna even throw in some enhancements. Enough with the intro, let's get started. My name is DK the Barber, and this is the easiest way to get the cleanest haircuts possible. Let's hop right in it. Grab your trimmers of choice. I got the Gold FX's by Babyliss Pro. What we wanna do is create our guideline for the fade that we're about to do. So get your trimmers and set that guideline, making sure both sides are meeting up even in the back. We wanna keep that line right above his ear Ear, but slightly slanted to the back of his head right across the occipital bone the haircut we're doing is a mid razor fade pompadour so we want to trim the back of his head shorter than the front of his head and I'm using a two for the Oscars metal clip if you don't have that use your blending clippers lever open with a one and a half clip let's fade grab those same blending clippers lever open no clip and go about a half an inch up the line should be parallel to the original line you made with your trimmers now since we're on the side we're to blend the beard and we're gonna go ahead and blend down the opposite from the fade I'll explain more later let's continue with the actual fade grab the 1 8 clip slap it on your clippers lever open go about a half inch up and you're gonna to want to do the same thing with the one and a half clip but you're gonna start with the lever open and then you're gonna work your way down until the levers closed all right now let's get into the details no clip lever closed we're gonna go at that bottom line and as you're working your way up you want to pull that lever back deleting the line that you just made with your trimmers grab that 1 16th clip slap it on your clippers and do the exact same thing guys it's going to be a rinse and repeat process with this style of cutting hair all right let me tell you this 1 16th clip that i have on the clippers is golden i promise you guys this is the clip that's going to get that line out i like to start with the lever closed and as i work my way up i pull that lever back then you're gonna wanna jump back to that 1 8 clip that we had on our clippers previously, but you're gonna wanna close the lever and as you go up, do the same thing you did with the 1 16th clip. Pull that lever back as you gradually go up. Let's slap that 0 0.5 clip on our clippers and start where we left off as far as the beard goes. You wanna close the lever and gradually pull the lever back as we work our way down. So what we're pretty much doing is blending the skin fade into whatever he has on the beard. In this case, we didn't trim the center of his beard but just as a size reference it's about a four plastic clip and I like to take different steps when it comes to the blending process on the facial hair what I'll do is gradually build up from whatever the last clip I was using let me explain I started with a 0.5 clip then I worked to a one clip then a one and a half then so on and so forth you do this until it's blended into whatever size the client prefers on the beard. Let's switch sides and keep it pushing. So let's knock off some of this bolt. Grab your blending clippers lever, open no clip, and go about a half inch up parallel to the line we made in the beginning of the video with our trimmers. Since we're on this side, let's knock out the blending on the beard. We just went over this, so we're gonna gradually go down as we're blending with bigger clips. Start with the 0.5 clip, then you wanna hit it with the one clip, one and a half, two, so on and so forth until it's blending into the beard. Don't forget to work with that lever on the side of your blending clippers to achieve the perfect fade. So we wanna create a parallel line about a half inch up from the line underneath it with that one clip. Make sure that lever on the side of the clippers is pulled all the way back. And we're gonna do the same thing with the one and a half clip. The only difference is we're gonna be able to blend into what we have up top. So we're not gonna be able to see the line cause that's the whole point of fading is deleting the line so we have a smooth, perfect blend. Let's knock out this bottom line. Lever closed, no clip on our clippers, and as you gradually go up, you want to pull that lever back, but make sure you're not going above this line here. We're attacking this line with the 1 16th plastic clip lever closed, and as we build up, of course, pull the lever back. From this point on, we're just changing clips, guys. Exact same steps, different clips. So slap that one clip on your clippers, rinse, repeat. Then slap that one and a half clip on your clippers, rinse, repeat. Now that our fade is nice and blended, let's work on some facial hair. Grab your blending clippers lever open. And what I like to do is tilt the clippers at a 45 degree angle and go with the grain. Make sure you're always brushing so you're keeping the hair going the direction that you need it to go. Now that we trimmed up the beard, let's go ahead and do some line work. Grab your edgers or trimmers of choice and I want you to start lining everything up on this side of the head. 
head. I want you guys to keep the lines structured around the client's head and face structure. In other words, keep everything as natural as possible unless your client suggests otherwise. Keep these bars vertical and I like to hit the top of the mustache with the trimmers, but this is just prepping for the razor, but that will come later on in the video. Here, we're not worried about making a perfect line, but we do wanna edge up that flavor saver something nice with it, okay? Let's switch sides and do the same thing. Start with underneath the neck. Let's make sure that line is nice and smooth and straight. Then we wanna come right here in between the ear and the jawline. Make sure these bars are vertical as well. And then we're gonna go ahead and hit the mustache. I like to hit the lip line first. Make sure you're following the natural lines of your client's face structure, okay? This is a very important tip if you're looking to master your line work, okay? Remember, keep these bars vertical and barely hit that top of that stash because we're gonna do the rest of the work with the razor, all righty? Don't be afraid to ask your client to arch his top lip to add tension so you can get a better line, okay? Let's push forward into the clipper over comb section of this video. Grab your clippers with one hand, blending clippers preferably, and a comb in the other. And what you wanna do is blend that line that we made in the beginning of the video into the front of his head. This is called a pompadour, okay? If you don't know what that is, just think of Johnny Bravo's haircut. It's a little bit of an exaggeration, but it's the same haircut. We're just doing a mid razor fade, okay? Let's go ahead and trim the top of his hair to the desired length of whatever the client requests. We're just trimming it here in this case. So what I'm gonna do is spray it down with some water, grab my shears and a comb in the opposite hand, pull the hair up and cut the desired length of whatever the client asked for. Once we do that, we can push forward into edging our client up. If you have one of these sticky thingamajiggies, go ahead and slap it in your client's head. And if you don't have any of this trim and edge spray, you can use hairspray. Go ahead and steal it from your girlfriend's cabinet. Go to your mama house. Take it out of her cupboard. You get the point. We got to get it any way we can, all right? And what we do with this spray is spray it into the hair, comb it downwards until it dries, and we're trimming this hair. I'm using a rat tail comb to grab the hairs that I want to trim down. And what this does is it allows me to get a clean, nice, straight edge up without the hairs moving back and forth. If I didn't do this, the hair from the pompadour up top would mix with the hairline hair and what would happen is the hair can shift or move around making the hairline not noticeable or not consistent with that straight line. Another tip I want to give you guys is work left to right from the middle then from right to left same from the middle. Let's do some razor work guys and push forward all right. One thing you want to always do when using the razor is stretching the skin in the opposite direction. We're going to go hit every line that we made with our trimmers but we're going to hit it with a razor but you want to make sure you stretch that skin. What this does is creates tension on the skin, reduces the risk of cuts, necks, or razor burns. Don't be one of those Instagram barbers that try to use the razor with one hand. What they're trying to do is give you a better shot and it's all cinematic guys. Don't fall for the trick. I want you guys to stretch the skin and I want you guys to attack all the lines with the razor okay have your client stretch that top lip if you have to just to get in the tighter areas especially above that mustache in between the lips and the nose notice here I'm stretching the ear hey that kind of rhyme but seriously guys I stretch the skin at all costs no matter what I got to do even if I have to have my client adjust his face for me to get that line to be consistent as possible the razor is one of the most important tools in the barber toolbox it's so important and it enhances the haircut by so much I promise you guys if you master your razor work you will master the detailing in a haircut quick side note when you're undoing the drape make sure you get all the hair at the bottom of the neck with your trimmers then trace everything you hit your trimmers with with a foil shaver if I'm using the five star foil shaver by wall but if you don't have this you can use a straight blade razor the reason I'm gently gliding the razor over what we just did with the foil shaver is to give us a perfect clean blended fade okay let's hop to the eyebrows guys when I'm shaping the brows I like to hit it with the razor first to achieve the perfect shape and then I come behind it with the trimmers to knock off any of the loose ends or hairs that I miss for example look at the top of the eyebrow see the hairs that hang over the original line I hit those with the trimmers. Let's take a closer look. Still consistently stretching the skin in the opposite direction no matter where I'm hitting with that razor, okay? Hopping back and forth from the razor and the trimmers to achieve the perfect edge. Let's wrap up the facial hair segment with edging and trimming that flavor saver and shaving everything underneath that neckline with our foil shaver after we hit it with our trimmers, okay? Now we can finally get to the last part of this video, the enhancements. Now let me explain the whole point 
point of enhancements it's to do exactly what it says to enhance the hair that's already there i see a lot of barbers on social media using enhancements to fix the messed up haircuts they have you can cover up a lot of mistakes with enhancements but i'm here to properly show you how to use it okay if you don't have one of these cards the same card that i'm holding up to the left side of his hairline you want to grab some type of business card some type of flat surface where you can spray and avoid one side being sprayed so you can get all access to a straight line on the opposite side so let's put that into action hold that card up to the hairline beard wherever you're trying to enhance and you want to hold your enhancements about six Six inches away from the face while you're spraying now the goal is to make it look as natural as possible you only want to take that shade down by one or two notches some barbers go to the extreme and make it way too dark and everybody in their mama knows it's not natural so for me it's all about making it look real and making people believe that this is his natural beard okay so what I'm doing with the razor right here is scraping off all the unwanted enhancement while it's still wet if you wait till it's dry you're gonna have to use alcohol or some type of chemical to get that off the skin so once we're finished with all that you want to get your barber magic white pencil and you want to trace very lightly across all the lines on the haircut and what we're doing is just tracing that chalk with the razor or your trimmers I like to use the razor because the chalk can get stuck in between your clipper blades and cause function problems so uh, what I would do is use the razor and what this does is give you that really crisp nice line that separates the beard from the skin through contrast now of course we use the enhancements to darken the hair on the beard and hairline but we're using the pencil to lighten up the edges of the skin where the skin meets the hair I'm not just looking to teach you guys how to cut hair but I want to give you guys knowledge on why the reasons we do what we do if you like what you see smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this hit that bell in the top right corner for future videos and upcoming content I got it's your boy DK the barber and this is how you do a mid razor fade pompadour full works gotta go